Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing all of the very important things that you need to know if you're going to get started with affiliate marketing. My intent with this video is that if you're just getting into the business, you can watch this one video through and get rapid fire answers to all of the most common questions. This is something that I wish I had at my disposal when I was starting affiliate marketing so that I didn't have to go to Google and try to go through all of the results and find legitimate answers. What's going to make this video unique and cool for you is that I've been doing affiliate marketing for a few years already and I've already made over a million dollars in commissions. So the questions and answers in this video are things that you may not know that you need to know yet. As you get started in affiliate marketing, these questions are going to come up and right away, you're just going to know the answers from the get-go. So with that being said, this is going to be a true rapid fire style video. So I'm not going to spend much time answering the questions, just giving you the straight answer and moving on to the next. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. The first question is, do you need to pay to join affiliate programs? The answer here is no. All affiliate programs should be free to join. If someone's telling you that you need to pay money to join their affiliate program, do a little bit more digging to see if that's legit or if that's a scam before you do anything there. In some cases, I will say that the only way that you can join an affiliate program is if you have purchased the product. So that is the only way that I know of where you need to pay in order to join a program. The next question is, do you need to buy the products that you are creating affiliate content for? The answer here is yes, I highly recommend purchasing the product to create content with that product. Whether this means you can have the product in your hand or you can put photos of you using the product, that is going to help your affiliate content stand out from all the people who don't own the product and they're just trying to create content about a product that they don't even own or have. I know for some of you, this may be a surprise that you have to physically spend money on the product in order to make content, but keep in mind that this is a bit of a barrier to entry for affiliate marketing. And you can also business write off all of the expenses that you have for purchasing products to create content about. However, that brings us into the next question, which should help a little bit here is that, do you need to buy a new product for every piece of content that you create? The answer here is no. So once you purchase one product, you can create as many pieces of content about that product as you'd like. Speaking from experience here, if you purchase one product one time, you can create an entire six figure business just on that one product. We'll see as we get through these questions, if we touch on this topic, but a little bit of a preview here is that you can create so many different types of content, different titles, different styles, different variations, all about a single product that you can create an entire business just on one product that you purchased. The next question, do you need an audience to do affiliate marketing? The answer here is no, and this is a really common misconception about affiliate marketing. Most people hear that you need to have a big social media following, and then you can start doing affiliate marketing by promoting products to that following. Although that is a legitimate strategy of doing affiliate marketing, that is not the only strategy for doing affiliate marketing. There's two other main strategies that you can do affiliate marketing with zero audience. I just released a video recently that breaks down these three different strategies in more detail. I'll put a link to it up here so you can watch that after. The next question is, do you need to have a website for the affiliate marketing application? So when you find an affiliate program that you want to join, you have to fill out their application. It's asking for basic information, but one of the lines that's always on these applications is what is a link to your website? Essentially, they're just asking, where are you going to be promoting our product? They wanna know and they wanna be able to check that it's legitimate, it's not scammy, you don't have any weird things on your website that they don't wanna be associated with. However, if you don't have a website yet, can you still apply for that affiliate program? In my experience of applying for many different affiliate programs, I have seen that you do need to have something in that box. Now, this could be a new website that you've created, or what I would recommend nowadays, which is so much easier to do, is create a new YouTube channel. All you have to do is come up with the name, fill out the profile photo and kind of that banner image up top. And then you can put a link to your YouTube channel in that website area. This way it's totally free to do. You don't have to pay for a website. And then you can have a link to somewhere where you can show them on the application. You're going to be promoting their products. The next question is, do you need to give your social security number or tax information on the affiliate program applications? Now I have seen applications that don't require this. However, generally speaking, I'm going to say, yes, you do need to give some kind of personal identification number. Now, this doesn't have to be a social security number. So if you're located somewhere outside of the United States, you can put in whatever kind of personal identification number that you have. Now, the reason for this is once you start making money through affiliate marketing, you're responsible to pay taxes on that. It's not tax free. So these affiliate programs need some kind of insurance just to say that we have paid them all of this money and it is being tracked somewhere to this person. It's not just a first name and a last name, which could be a million different people. 
Okay, next question is, can you do affiliate marketing with a website versus creating videos? Now, this is something that you will see on this channel that I talk about quite a bit is that you can create a affiliate marketing website and write text written blog articles, or you can create a YouTube channel for free and create videos. Yes, you can do it both ways, but the websites are starting to get a ton of competition and they're not doing as well because of artificial intelligence tools. For instance, ChatGPT, you can say, write me a whole blog post with affiliate marketing style about this topic give it about two minutes, it'll write you an entire post. Well, tons of people are doing this and posting it to the websites. So Google is just getting flooded with these. If however, you create videos and upload them to YouTube for affiliate marketing, they perform so much better because YouTube and Google, they want this content because it's original and you can't fake it with artificial intelligence. Next question is, do you need a business entity to start affiliate marketing? The short answer here is no, you absolutely do not need a business entity to start affiliate marketing. As you start getting further down the road and you start making a considerable amount of money, yes, it might be worth looking into starting a business entity just so that you can get better tax advantages, things are more organized and things of that nature. But from the get go, it is totally not required. Okay, next question. If you are going to do the video style of affiliate marketing, do you need to be on camera? The short answer here is no, absolutely not. What I would highly recommend is if you are going to do faceless videos, which is basically screen recording or you recording the product kind of point of view look, then I still highly recommend using your own voiceover. This is going to show YouTube and Google and even the viewer that you are a real person with real experiences and you're creating original content. Everyone nowadays is starting to use artificial intelligence voices. And trust me when I say that YouTube and Google, they can tell the difference and they're going to treat your content just like all of the other artificial intelligence created content. Be unique in this business and be original and authentic and you're going to succeed so much more. So the next question here is what if your spoken English is not good? Well, this is a generalization and an assumption that you are trying to target people in the United States just because there's a lot of purchasing power there and affiliate marketing works very well. And if you're creating a video with a voiceover and your English is not exactly perfect, the short answer here is don't worry about it. I personally subscribe to so many people on YouTube who have broken English, but I don't care because their content is good. So if you're sharing original experiences, don't worry about your English. I think the biggest thing here is it's going to be a mental barrier to you, but the people actually viewing your content are probably not going to care. That brings us into the next question is if you live internationally and you want to create content that's targeting the United States specifically, can you do that? Yes, absolutely. Whatever content you create and upload to these platforms, whatever the keywords are or whatever the product is that you are creating content about will reach that audience automatically. It doesn't matter where you are uploading from. Next up is, can you use artificial intelligence tools to create affiliate marketing videos? The short answer here from my experience is truly don't waste your time on these because YouTube and Google are flushing all of this out of their system. They don't want it on their platforms. So please, if you are getting into affiliate marketing, don't try to use the kind of shortcut here of using artificial intelligence. It's not going to be worth your time and it's inevitably just going to be shut down. Next up is if you are going to go the video route for affiliate marketing, do you need to buy equipment? This is kind of a loaded question Question because it depends on what kind of videos you want to create. However, if you're doing faceless videos, you can just use a computer and do screen recording. The only piece of equipment I would recommend having is a microphone. There's one that I highly recommend for this and it's only $80 to buy. So that would be your only piece of equipment that you need to buy. Now, if you are doing on camera videos or if you're doing that point of view where you're using the product, then you can use that same microphone for $80. You will need to buy a tripod, about $20 on that front and then you can use your smartphone camera to record the videos. Now, since this one's talking about specific pieces of equipment, for those of you who don't know, I have a full affiliate marketing course that goes through everything for videos specifically, all of the equipment is covered in that course. You've got the beginner equipment that I just talked about and then intermediate if you wanna step it up a bit and full advanced where you can get a whole setup like this. I'm not the kind of person to push the course. Hopefully you guys know that by now, but if you wanna check it out, I'll put a link to the full course down in the description. Next question is, do you need to update your affiliate marketing content as products change over time? The answer here is yes and no, and it only takes a couple seconds to explain. So here we go. If you are creating affiliate marketing content about products that often change, every couple months that product is changing or updating, then yes, you really do have to go back into that content and update it with the new information. However, if you are picking products to create affiliate marketing content, 
where those products really don't change, then you don't have to update your content. I have affiliate marketing content that I've put out there in 2018, which is several years ago, that's still generating consistent incomes without being touched, not updated at all. So this one is heavily going to depend on what types of products you are promoting and how often those products change. Okay, next up is an important question. How do you get paid from these affiliate programs? So there are two main ways that affiliate programs pay out their affiliates. First is going to be PayPal. This is a very common way and very easy way. So if you create a free personal PayPal account, it doesn't need to be a business account, then you can send them in your affiliate application, the email to that PayPal account. And then every month, whatever commissions you have generated, they will pay you out to that PayPal. Now, once that money hits your PayPal, you can just transfer it to your bank. And it's just kind of a middleman to collect the money. The other way that's common is just direct deposit. So they'll just send you money directly into whatever bank account you want it to go into. Next up is how do you pay taxes when you're doing affiliate marketing? So this is actually a very simple one, but I will start by saying that you're not excluded from paying taxes for affiliate marketing. So you do have to pay taxes just like any other business that you would start. However, if you don't have a business set up or anything, and it's just you personally starting affiliate marketing, all of the money that you were paid that year, all the profit and commissions that were paid to you, you add all of those up from all of the different affiliate programs that you joined. It could be 10 different affiliate programs. They all pay you add it all up for that year, and then just add in other income on your taxes and put that amount there and write affiliate marketing. Now, if you're in another country outside the United States, this may change a little bit, but that concept is going to stay the same. Just know that if you are doing affiliate marketing from another country, you don't have to pay double taxes to United States just because you got sales that were in the United States. You just pay your local taxes. Next up is how much money can you earn from affiliate marketing? The short answer here is it's truly unlimited. If you're doing affiliate marketing the right way and you're creating a lot of content and putting it out there, I wouldn't be surprised if you're making seven figures a year, which is literally a million dollars or more per year. Now I've spent my last few years of doing online business split between a couple different business models. So specifically talking about affiliate marketing, I have been doing it, let's call it part-time because I have been spending time building other businesses as well. In the last three years alone, just from affiliate marketing, I've personally made well over a million dollars. I honestly haven't looked at this very much recently, but it might be over $2 million in the last couple of years. I just want you guys to know, and the reason that I'm telling you that is that sky is really the limit here. You can make as much money as you want with affiliate marketing. It's definitely legitimate. Just make sure that you're doing it with the right strategy and then put in all of that original authentic work and don't try to take any short cuts. Next question goes hand in hand with this is how long does it take to start making money with affiliate marketing? Now I'll use the two popular examples here real quick. One is creating a website with text written blog articles and the other one is creating videos and uploading them to YouTube. Starting with the website writing text based articles, that's probably safely going to be about six months until you start to earn any money from that. The reason for that is you have to publish it and you have to let that rank on Google. Again, with all the artificial intelligence, it's just making that harder so that timeline might get pushed out a little bit further. Now, the other way of creating videos and uploading them to YouTube, this should be in the same month that you upload that video, you're probably going to start making money from it. Now, I shouldn't say that you should rely on just one video. What you wanna do when you're starting out is create multiple videos and get those uploaded just as fast as you can. However, with the videos on YouTube, you're skipping the whole ranking thing on Google. So you don't have to wait for that to happen. It's pretty instant on YouTube. So once you start posting videos on YouTube, it should be within the first month that you start to see that making affiliate commissions. All right, next up is what is Amazon affiliate? So a lot of people hear of Amazon affiliate. They don't know if it's a specific strategy or what that really is. It's just Amazon's affiliate program. So all of these big companies have affiliate programs. That's just Amazon's affiliate program. It's also called Amazon Associates. So if you see it by that name, it's just referring to Amazon's general affiliate program. Now I should also say that you can join Amazon's affiliate program as well as joining multiple other affiliate programs all at the same time. And whatever platform you're posting your affiliate content on, you can get affiliate links to products on Amazon. You can get affiliate links to other programs and put them all in your content. You don't have to do just Amazon affiliate or someone else. It's just a program that you can join. It's not something that you are locked into. All right, next up is what is the difference between affiliate marketing and drop shipping? This is a cool question. So starting with affiliate marketing, basically you join a company's program totally for free. They give you a unique link. You post that link in your content about their products. And when someone clicks on that link and makes a purchase, 
that company fulfills the order as normal. So they're doing the customer service, they're shipping the product out, they're taking the payment, they're doing everything, and we just get a commission for sending them a buyer. When you are talking about drop shipping, it is very similar to affiliate marketing, but it is slightly more hands-on. So in drop shipping, you are actually taking the order yourself on your own website, you're collecting payment from the customer, you're doing customer service for that customer, and then you send the customer's order to the company and they ship it to the customer directly. So the only thing that the company is doing there is they are shipping the product directly to the customer. But all of that work gets put on you. So you have to physically take the order and process the payment. You have to do the customer service. And if there's any refunds, you have to deal with that as well. Whereas affiliate marketing, you are just sending them a buyer and you're just getting your commission. All right, next up is what is the difference between affiliate marketing and digital marketing? So affiliate marketing, we just explained. Digital marketing is just a phrase for doing marketing on the internet. It's not a business model. It's generally just the practice of doing any marketing on the internet. It's not anything specific. It's not a strategy. It's not a business model. All right, we're getting towards the end here, but the next question up is what kind of content do you make for affiliate marketing? So no matter what platform you are using for affiliate marketing, whether that's a website or videos or whatever you're doing out there, the type of content that you're going to be creating is roughly the same. Now, from experience, just to give you a few ideas to get your brain working, the type of content that you wanna be creating is review style videos about the product that you are promoting, educational style videos about the product you're promoting, and comparison videos about the product you're promoting compared to other similar products. Those three should give you a really good head start. Again, there's going to be a ton more of those in the full course. I just don't wanna to give too much of that away because people are paying for that information. Next up is, can you create content about multiple products? The short answer here is yes, you can create content on your website or on your YouTube channel about any different products that you want to. General best practice is going to be to stay within a specific niche on your website or on your YouTube channel. I should say though, if you decide that you create a website or a YouTube channel about a specific niche and you're creating affiliate content on there, and then somewhere down the road, you decide that you wanna create content on another niche just because you have a passion for it or you just something you wanna do, just create a second YouTube channel or a second website. The same thing as the first, but start creating content about that niche on its specific channel. I've gotta say here, the beauty of doing affiliate marketing with a YouTube channel compared to a website is that when you create a YouTube channel, even if you have one, two, three, four videos on that channel, it gets treated the same way on YouTube as if you had 400 videos on your channel. When you look at a website, Google does not treat new websites the same way as they treat existing proven websites that have hundreds of articles written on them. So that brings us into the last question here. What is the best platform to start affiliate marketing on? Now, when you're looking at information on how to get started, you will see all different types of platforms and recommendations. You're typically going to see social media, so Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest. However, my recommendation here, speaking from a lot of experience, is to try to get on platforms where you can benefit from search. Essentially, what this means is that people are going to a website and they're searching for reviews or they're searching for comparison videos or they're searching for educational things about the products that you have created content about. This means that there's going to be a steady flow of people coming to find your content and you don't have to pay for any ads or have an audience. So guys, if you have any questions that were not covered in this video, but you're still wondering what the answer is, just let me know down in the comments. I'm always monitoring them so I can get you an answer back as quickly as possible. But with that said, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really would appreciate that. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.